Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. When we are working with uh, financials or uh, human capital management, uh, generally we'll hire an employees. If you are working for uh, human capital management, then we'll do it from my client groups and from there we'll try to hire an employee. But if it is non-HCM like financials, then we'll do it from managed users tab. So if we are trying to perform from managed users tab, what will happen? So we'll try to search for this task, manage users, and uh, try to hire an employee for a particular legal employer and for a particular business unit, right? So what we do is uh, we'll enter the name, right? Employee name. That's the username we are trying to, and we'll choose that person type as an employee. And when we try to hire uh, for our legal employer and try to change, select your legal employer, immediately it will show you the error message. Or you will get some you know, uh, application issue or something like, you'll be getting like this. So uh, if you try to use that, this type of error will be getting. So the reason is very simple. Your legal employer is not associated with the legislative data group. So if it is not associated with the legislative data group, then we cannot hire employees, right? So that's why what we have to do is now go to the task here, manage uh, legal entities task here. We have to go to the task, manage the legal entity, HCM information, and choose the scope. What is our legal entity? This is, we already enabled it as uh, active status, now legal entity. And we can find this is uh, PSU and as well as legal employer also. So, we can directly go ahead with this and associate with LDS. If it is PSU, then only we'll be able to assign to the legislative data group because uh, we can run the payroll and uh, the payroll related information will be populated over here. And now we can see this is our legal entity. We enabled it as a legal employer. That's why we got this. And we enabled it as a PSU. That's why we got this tab, payroll statutory unit over here. Okay, now go to this tab, PSU. And here we will go for associate our legal employer with LDG. LDG stands for Legislative Data Group. In case in the interviews, if they ask us what is LDG, LDG stands for Legislative Data Group, which we will be using to maintain the employee's uh, salary information. At uh, payroll module, most of the times we'll be using when we are doing the setups. We can have at least one legal one LDG is required for every country, and we can also have multiple LDGs. It depends on the requirement. Uh, that requirement is based on the payroll cost, based on the payroll cost allocation structure. Now we will be able to hire an employee for our legal employer. Let's go to the task here. Manage users task is not there in because you are in compensation management offering. Okay, because uh, this is a uh, the task which we use for other than HCM, compensation comes under HCM, right? Human capital management is a combination of three offerings, compensation management and workforce deployment and workforce uh, development, right? So then obviously we will go ahead with uh, other than HCM, let's go to finance or procurement somewhere and we can hire non-HCM employee and we'll try to do this here. I'll take this employee and now it will allow us to choose the legal employer, right? No, it's what then business unit. It's not only in uh, this particular area, non HCM, even HCM also, it's a basic thumb rule. All your legal employer and PSUs, all PSUs must be associated with the LDC, not the legal employer. We don't need to worry about the legal employer. In fact, it won't allow us to associate with the LDC only. 
the PSUs will be associated with the legislative data group to maintain the payroll related information. 